Today, we are going to make Instant Pot General Tso's chicken. Let's get started. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix all of the sauce ingredients together. We're going to start with a quarter cup of low sodium soy sauce because soy sauce is so high in sodium already. Um, I am using low sodium and even for this, one tablespoon has 590 milligrams of sodium, which is redonkulous. But that's also what adds the flavor and was basically what soy sauce is <laughs> besides the soybeans. Um, so we're gonna do a quarter cup of soy sauce. I have almost three pounds of chicken, so I might do a little bit more just to make sure you have enough sauce to cover all the chicken. So you can use um, two to three pounds of chicken. It calls for thighs, but I had chicken breasts, so we're just gonna use chicken breasts, but thighs are also gonna add more juicy flavor. Um, then we're gonna do a quarter cup of honey. This is to add the sweetness to it. Um, and give it that, that sweet, tangy, stickiness. Okay. And then we're gonna add three tablespoons of rice vinegar. I my tablespoon, so. Three tablespoons rice vinegar. Just have generic rice vinegar. Also generic honey, but it's the little bear, so that's what makes it cute and fun. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit more than three tablespoons of the rice vinegar. Um, the review on this said that it wasn't super tangy, but uh, with using three tablespoons, so I think I'm gonna do just a titch more, because I do like a little bit of the tanginess of the General Tso's chicken. And then we're gonna do one clove of garlic minced so I'm just going to get a clove off here if I can I should have prepared that but that's okay I'll just smush it with my hand because I don't want to get more utensils out at this point <laughs> I'm trying to be as efficient as possible and not use unnecessary utensils. So I've got a little garlic press here, so I'm just going to, oops, still some skin on here. I'm just going to press it with my garlic press. to do one teaspoon of grated ginger. So just one teaspoon. It's kind of a rough measurement. I don't want to grate my finger here. I feel like this ginger is not, this is not very fresh ginger. I should have gotten some better ginger, but a little bit. Let's get some more here. Now it is, it does make a huge difference to use like fresh grated ginger versus like the ginger seasoning. I didn't think that that was true, but I've tried some dishes um, with fresh grated ginger and you really can tell a difference and it does it does taste so much better. I'm not a huge ginger fan, so it's okay. If, I think it's okay if it's less than. Okay, making a little mess over here, but that's okay. We'll clean that up. Um, okay, so then you can also add a pinch of chili flakes at this time. A pass on that. I don't really need spice. <laughs> and then we're gonna just, um, we'll just stir all that up. And then there will also be a tablespoon of tomato paste. And you can either add this into the Instant Pot or you can mix it in. 
Um, this is really just to add some color. This is probably the biggest thing that adds the color of the red to the chicken and to the sauce. So I'm just gonna stir that up real good. All right, so now we're gonna bring the Instant Pot over. I've already put the chicken in the Instant Pot. That's almost, that's almost three pounds of chicken breasts. Now you could, the recipe calls for thighs to make it more fatty, probably a little bit more flavorful, but we're going with chicken breasts. And I'm going to just pour the sauce over it. Get all of it in there, every last bit. And you just wanna move the chicken around to make sure that all your pieces are getting coated with that sauce so that it's getting in there real good. I chopped the chicken up first, but you don't have to. You can chop it up after it's been cooked. Um, I just prefer to do it then so that it's not too hot. Okay, so now we are going to get this plugged in. And we are going to put the lid on. Make sure it's set in sealing. And we're going to put it on manual mode for five minutes. All right, the timer just went off, so I'm going to let the pressure out. Steam, baby, steam! Here we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Steam, baby, steam. Grabbing a bowl and some tongs to put the chicken in. Once this, once all the pressure releases, you do not want to open it before the pressure releases. It'll be not good. So just let it come to a full release. Okay, so here we go. Are you guys ready? It's such a bright color. Isn't it crazy how it just cooks the chicken up like that? It just blows my mind. Okay, so I'm gonna put the chicken in this bowl. So just, ugh. These are hard little buggers to get out. Okay, almost. All right, so I'm just gonna set this aside. And now we are going to make our thickening agent. But, uh, sorry, so I'm gonna put the ispa on saute um, so that the sauce uh, is gonna start heating up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a tablespoon of cornstarch and a tablespoon of cold water. And it's important that you use cold water. And we are just gonna mix that up. If you don't use cold water, then it doesn't or interact with the doesn't the cornstarch does not react with wa the water well if it's not cold, so it won't dilute or dissolve or whatever. So just to make sure it's nice and combined, and then we will. Um, put that in with our sauce and just give it a good stir around and we'll let that come up to, to a little simmer um, and let it cook a little bit um, to get it all thickened. Can't wait! All right, so this has been boil simmering, and I've had, like with the thickening agent in it, and it's not getting as thick as I was hoping it would. Um, I did add a, a little bit more of the cornstarch agent, but um, doesn't seem to be doing what I thought it would. So that's okay. Um, it's just the texture. It's not like the flavor is going to change. So I've been stirring it with the boil with it on simmer for or on saute for at least a good couple, five minutes, two to five minutes. So I think that's probably gonna be as good as it can get. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it off. 
and just kind of let it come to a rest. Okay, so at this point, we're going to put our chicken in with the sauce. Uh, if you want to pour your sauce over your chicken, you can do that as well, but I'm going to just pour my chicken in there because I want it all coated up real good. I just don't want it to splatter me, so I'm doing it slow. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. It smells so good. All those flavors. I'm just gonna let that chicken marinate in there. <clears throat> make their so make themselves cozy. Oh yeah. So then get all of it coated and I am going to just get that all coated. It's getting a little bit thicker as we let it sit a little bit. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna try a piece. You can have my honest opinion. I am going to try a piece. It looks so hot, but it looks so good. Um, again, not fried. Mmm. All that flavor is so good. It doesn't even matter that this isn't deep fried. Um. Oh, it's sweet. Hanging. Mm, I really like it. I'm gonna pair mine with broccoli. Marcus is gonna pair his with rice, maybe some broccoli, and it'll be a super good treat. And this will be enough at least for a couple meals for both him and I. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to make General So's chicken in the instant pot. It's not an original recipe. I'm just remaking it to see how it turns out. Um, hope everyone stays well and enjoys the video. Give me a thumbs up. Thanks. Ciao, ciao.